Hey, horsey people. Oh, man, I hate when I do this. So, I'm sitting here reading these comments like I do every morning, and I usually, you know, I thumb, thumb them up so I know I read them. So if I have to stop or something comes up, I can just go back down and go, okay, what read, uh, comments have I not read? And I used to give out a lot of carrots or donuts on my horse channel, but carrots on the horsey channel for first comment, but they were deleting some accounts for abusing, uh, spamming. They called it spamming, uh, emojos or whatever the hell they call them. Emojis. So anyway, I only give out two carrots and two donuts now because the the commies at YouTube and Google are just getting out of control. And December, my account may disappear anyway. They're saying they're deleting any accounts and Google accounts if they can't make money off you come December or something. So, I mean, YouTube has just gone full commie. It's funny, and I'll probably post this on both my horse and gun channel. YouTube gets to decide what videos you can monetize. They get to decide whether you monetize. They get to decide whether they leave a video up. They get to decide whether they give you a strike and delete your channel for strikes. They get to decide whether they can demonetize your entire account. And now they get to decide that, you know what? If we can't make money on you, we're going to delete your entire Google account and YouTube account on December 10th. Really, I mean, just communism full tilt and censorship. Um, so anyway, uh, I mean, to me, it just boggles the mind. We get to decide whether you can make money, and now we're going to delete your account. Even if you don't make money, we're not going to let you use our service. That YouTube is like the government. They don't produce anything. They just take from what others produce. It's just simply amazing. They don't create any video. They literally subcontract, pay other people a small amount, to use their videos so they can make a large amount of money, so they can hire all their execs, make all freaking rich money, hire all their liberal back idiot, uh, you know, conditions on what's appropriate and what isn't. You know, you could put on here on how kids are getting, you know, trained by transvestites at the library, and uh, if it's positive, they'll allow it. But if you say it's not positive, then they'll delete it. And now they're just going to leak entire accounts if they can't make money on you. Uh, really, really sad because when YouTube started, it was a great sharing place for information, for, um, you know, just, it, it was just such a great platform to educate and learn. And now, man, it's gone full censorship. But anyway, the part I want to get to it, and I hope the, the person, I think it was a woman, I can't even remember the damn name, is she just put that Stacy Sophie... The one that was abusing the horse. I don't know if I had any comments on her or not. Let me see if I can. I'm looking at the pictures here on. Uh, what the hell happened? So these are the videos, the comments on the videos. And I thought I saw a video. Somebody comment. Okay, this video right here. Please help this horse. So this Stacy Sophie was shocking her horse at the barrel racing. Well, somebody just posted that she's in jail. And I went, well, can you put a link? And I was going to approve her to put a link. So when you click on this little arrow next to a comment, I get four options. I, you know, you can report spam abuse. I can block the person, hide all their comments, or I can approve for comments from this user. And that way they can post uh, links. And I usually don't do that for everybody because people will just spam links to their channels and people that hate me, they'll spam those links and they'll put links on uh, you know, just crazy stuff. So that's why I have to approve links. But normally, if somebody's going to post something that I, that I want to see, I'll just go ahead and click approve this user for comments. Well, crap. The lady that posted, Sophie was just arrested. I'll keep you informed. I commented, thanks a lot. Can you post a link? I come over here and I go down to click this and I click here and I block her. And now I don't know who she is that I blocked. And I can't unblock her. Till I know who she is. So she gave me a good comment. She was going to leave me a link. She probably didn't even see my reply because I didn't hit reply yet. And I was going to approve her for comments. And I'm like, crap, I just blocked her. And of course, YouTube won't let me go back and see who I blocked last 
that they don't, that YouTube isn't about giving anybody service and making it easier for the creator. They're just about controlling the creator to per, to create content that they want that pushes their liberal agenda. So YouTube doesn't make it easy. So I, if I go to my block people and who's blocked, I've got probably 3,000 people blocked. There's no way I'm going to find her without her name. So unfortunately, and, and, and YouTube doesn't list them like a normal. Here, let me show you how they list them. It's crazy. So here's some propeller head that works at YouTube that thinks it would be cool to make these freaking boxes with the little face and the name and the little e email and a little. So these people are, are automated filters or monitors. These users are approved to flag to sit here and somehow tell me, you know. Okay, so here's how YouTube and their brilliance, some propeller head sitting up in the middle of freaking you know YouTube land making all this money and they're about to delete anybody that has an account they can't make it easy so this these people are moderators and this is how they list them it's not in alphabetical order it's in no order whatsoever these are approved users that they can flag comments and these are the hidden users so my hidden users are um, people that are blocked so here's all my hidden users now how can I find out who I just blocked I mean, there's just no rhyme or reason on how these people got in here. You know, it'd be nice if the last person I blocked was right up top. So if I accidentally block somebody, I could come over here and hit the top person. But they just they just post them in this freaking random, crazy order in these little freaking blue links that there's no way in hell I can find out who I just blocked. So I can't unblock them unless I know their name. And they can't tell me their name because they're blocked. So... Uh, whoever just left me the, the, and you can tell I, I, I don't hesitate to block somebody. I mean, you know, this channel has been up for 10 years, so I don't know if this is a lot or not a lot, but, uh, you come here whining and crying and you get blocked. So anyway, I'm sorry. And some of these people are probably blocked by accident because sometimes when I hit that link, it happens so fast that I hit the wrong damn button. I mean to, you know, flag it or, or, you know, crap. I, mean, I I'm just... I'm beside myself because this this person who was trying to help me, I just blocked her. And I don't want to block good people. But anyway, if I blocked you and, and you're blocked, send me, and I don't check my email because I have like 3,000 emails unread. But I will check for a couple days of the top emails and, and put in the heading in all caps, you blocked me by accident. And I will look for that heading. And that way I can scan through the 50 emails I get a day and see if I see a heading of uh, you blocked me by accident and then I will unblock you. But in the body, you have to put a link to your homepage because the only way I can unblock you, let me go, uh, I, if I know your name, I can click you here if it's the right name and it's easy to find. But if you just give me the link, and I'll show you how to give me a link. So if I see a video that I want to find the link of the person, I just go here. I right click and I say open link and that's going to open her page open link in a new tab then we'll go over to her tab and this is her page and this is what it looks like and then I can unblock her by coming over here to this little flag button and it'll say block user you just got blocked sorry Anna and now I can click here uh oh Block user, cancel. Normally, oh, let me hit refresh. So I'll reload the page, and now when I click it, I'll see that she's blocked. It'll say unblock. And now I'm going to unblock her. So I, I need your home page to get to this little flag so I can unblock you. So put that link, go up to here, and just copy the little link of your home page uh, and tell me that I blocked you accidentally. I'll click on that link, and then I'll go to the flag, and I'll unblock you. And this goes the same for the gun channel. Sometimes if you think you're blocked accidentally, some people I block on purpose. So, uh, but if you think that I blocked you accidentally or you don't know why you did it, I mean, sometimes, you know, it, it, I read a comment wrong and I just block you because I'm not in the freaking greatest of mood. And uh, I don't mind unblocking somebody. I mean, it's not personal. I forget who I block, you know, two seconds after I block them. So it's not like 
I'm running around. Yeah, I showed that person. I blocked them. <laughs> it's not like that. But anyway, uh, that's that's dealing with YouTube. And who knows? Maybe you know YouTube will delete my account come December, and I won't post any more videos. So all right, we'll end that there on accidentally blocking somebody. <laughs>